Hello, I am everyone's beloved Microsoft Word text-to-speech reader, Microsoft David, and I'll be your narrator. By examining the multimedia franchise, the idle master, we understand how convergence, digitization, and discoverability works and impacts us. Let's begin. So, what exactly are multimedia franchises? AKA transmedia franchises. They are media franchises that have multiple installments in different forms of media. Some types of media they cover are books, comics, films, TV series, and video games. A famous example would be Mickey Mouse. Aside from the original animation, Mickey Mouse has made appearances in comics and games. Famous examples for games would be Mario and Sonic. Before we move on to our main content, there's one word that will show up a lot during this video. That word being convergence. Simply put, the word itself means the coming together of two or more things. Multimedia franchises are a form of media convergence as different types of media come together to form a continuity with the same characters or universe. The first Idol Master was a good example of how technological advancement created a new hybrid media form. So, what exactly made this arcade game so different from the rest? It capitalized on the technology of magnetic stripe cards to create saved data for arcade games. If you don't know what magnetic stripe cards are, it's the same as credit cards. This, along with the concept of an idle raising simulator where players bond with the idle the player is producing created returning players. Enhancing the experience was the ability to receive text messages from the idols. In addition, the game took advantage of digitization to enhance its connectivity as it had an online network service showing the national idol rankings from idols produced by players which affected the in-game top trend. This created a social practice and culture among its players. In this way, it caused technological and social change in society's gaming practices. Similar to the way Pokemon Go changed the mobile gaming scene by having players head outside and using AR technology. Each series focuses on different talent agencies with a different cast of idols in each of them. Next, we will discuss the various types of media the series has produced. The main game series. They used to be made for arcades and are now mainly for home consoles. The mobile games, which are currently the most prolific media for this franchise. Multiple animations. These are some of the other media the franchise produced. Transmedia franchises like the Idol Master weave interconnectivity between their goods and services so well that if one of their media forms attract you, it is very likely that you will end up getting into the franchise as a whole. This does wonders for the discoverability of such franchises. Taking our information environment as a C and different media types as sections. These franchises catch our attention as bait. Casting a wide net, ready to reel us in. So you might want to think twice before you get hooked by one after this video. If you'd like to learn more, please take a look in the description below. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Or night. See ya.